Welcome to All Is One Fitness, everybody. I am Allison, and today we are going to do a little bit of a dance, cardio, power bar type workout. I am a dancer, and I've been dancing for over 27 years. I currently, I'm still dancing, but I also teach dance at a college level, and I choreograph, so I dabble in all things dance. And I kind of wanted to just give you all a little bit of a taste of, not necessarily an exact like ballet class or jazz class, but it incorporates a lot of stuff that we do in our technique classes. Now, I know what you're thinking. I don't call myself a dancer. That's not what I am. That is fine. You don't need to be a dancer. You just need to move in your own body. What feels good for you? So follow along, grab yourselves, grab those mats. I am going to be in socks today, and this is like my normal get up on a regular basis, is socks. If you know me, I'm always rocking crazy socks. Today I have my cowboy socks on. Yes, I love country music. Don't hate me for it. So with that, let's get rocking and let's have some fun. All right, everybody, so again, we're doing a dance, cardio, power bar type of workout for today. So just follow along. Everything will repeat, but it's more so like it repeats on both sides. But let's just get started and have some fun. So starting with those feet in a wide stance, you're gonna reach those arms out, and I want you to dive over, attack your toes, and bring them up. Tap, and up. Now I'm not locking out my knees. I have a tiny little bend in those legs. And up, reach over, and up, tap, and lift, tap. Hold it here, I want you to scoop and scoop, scoop and scoop, 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 yes. Now you're going to reach and carve, reach and carve, reach and carve, nice. Keep this going. If you're like, I am very lost already, just do the arms. You don't even have to do the rest of the body. I know. Now, I want you to take those legs turned out. You're going to bend, scoop, hug a friend, press those arms back. Bend those knees, scoop like you're doing a squat, press those arms on back. Again, scoop it on down, bring it on back. One more, scoop and curve, press it on back. Parallel, reaching sideways, sideways. I'm sliding those hands down the sides of my lips. Keeping that core engaged. So I want you to reach over to the right side. Now you're gonna twist, kind of going on a diagonal and you're finding yourself in a flat back. My other hand is just behind me nice and straight. I want you to Contract in and flatten out. Contract and flatten out. Scoop it in, press it out, and relax on down. Yes. Come back to that center. Bend those knees. Roll all the way to the top. Second side. You're sliding down the leg. Arm comes up and over. You're reaching the flat back. Hand kind of goes on that diagonal. And now you're contracting. Scooping and flatten. Scoop and flatten. Last one, scoop, flatten, and relax on down. Find yourself into that center. You're gonna grab those elbows and you're gonna sway side to side. Now, you're gonna start to bend those knees and you're slowly swaying side to side and it brings yourself all the way to the standing. I kind of let my arms dangle, and then you're coming all the way on up. Nice. Float those legs together. You're going to bend your knees, arms come forward, straighten those legs, circle those arms back and around. Bend those knees, scoop those arms forward, straighten those legs. Nice. Let's go a little bit quicker. Bend and press. Bend and press. Bend and press. Bend and press. Bend and press, nice. Take that ear, go over to your shoulder. And you're feeling the other shoulder pressing down. Coming up to the center, other direction. Coming up to the center, looking down, giving a 
nice stretch. And now go half circle to the one side, drop it down, half circle to the other. Half circle to the one side, half circle to the other. One more right. And one more left. So if you need to hold on to a bar or a bar, a wall, anything, hold on to it. What you're going to do, I'll give you different angles. From the side, you're going to just lift your right heel up and then you're going to press it down. Lift and press. Lift and press. From the front, you're just staying parallel, lifting and dropping. As dancers, ankle, support, stability, being nice and warm, strength is so important. Yes. Lift and down. Let's go to that left side. So lift, squeeze. You're pressing up and down. You're going to the ball of your foot. Keep going as I explain through it. So you're not rolling to your toe. You're still in that ball of the foot. Barbie foot, you want to call it that. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. You're going to start to alternate between sides. So you're going to go right. You have to lift both heels up. And then you drop the right heel down. Lift both heels up, drop the left heel down. So lift and lower, lift and lower. Again, if you need to hold on to a wall, you're more than welcome to. Lift and lower, lift and lower. Your last one right here and come down. So still that same situation, you're going to take a little demi point, is what this is called, and you're going to push off the floor into a full on point. And then you put the foot back down and you flatten it. So demi point, push, demi point, down. Demi point, demi down. Nice. So by pushing off the floor into that point, that builds up that nice little strength. Now take out the in between and you're just lifting that foot up and down. Go for two, go for one and switch to that other side. So you're going demi, point off, demi, and down. Demi, point, demi, down. It's okay if you do not know what terminology I am saying. Demi is halfway and then the point's all the way through. So you can ignore all of that if you need to. So take out the in-between, up and down, up and down. I want you to bend those knees, lift both heels, straighten those legs, lower those heels, bend those knees, lift those heels, and straighten and drop. Bend, lengthen, up, and down, last one, and then we get to reverse all of that. So you lift your heels up first, you bend your knees second, drop your heels, straighten those legs, straighten, bend, heel drop, lengthen. Heel raise, bend, drop. Last one, up, down, bend, and up. Wonderful. All right, so this is a fun little workout routine that we do. Sometimes you may see this in bar classes. I want you to tondo your right foot out to the side and squeeze it in. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, other side. Eight, seven, six. You're rolling through your feet for four, three. Take those arms out to the side. We have four. Four, three, two. You guessed it. Four, other side. Four, three, two, two. Here we go. Two, two. You have singles. Single, 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 single. Nice. Lie to those knees. Come all the way on up. So, what you're going to do, tondu your right foot out, plie wide second, tondu and close. Brush, second, tondu and close. Out, wide squat, put your weight back to that standing leg. Last one, hold it here, come to the other side. Here we go. So, you tondu, plie, back, and up. Plie, back, and out. Tandu, plie, back. Here we go. Stay out. Hold. Other way, and in. Nice. All right. 
So I want you to find yourself back into a regular parallel position. You're going to go lift in lower, lift in lower. So we're doing relative base. You can hold on to something or you can keep your hands wherever you need to for balance purposes. Up and down, up and down. We're getting into those calves. My left ankle likes to pop all the time. So I'm making noise with my body. Hold at the top. And you float those hands out. Float them up to the ceiling. And slowly lower on in. Same thing, but I want you to turn those toes out. Use those inner thighs to help squeeze. So up, down, up. I'm feeling the squeeze all the way through the tops of my legs. It's like a candy cane going down to those heels. Yes, inner thighs are activated, core is engaged. And I'm smiling. Up and down, up and down. Can you hold at the top of this next one? Hold. Float only one hand up. Float the other hand up. Press those arms on down. And slowly come on in. Nice. So. We are going to work onto those obliques. Find a wide second position, bend those knees, hands behind your head. You're gonna dive over and up, over and up, over and up. And of course, we'll add on to this in a second. You're gonna now lift that same heel. Lift and dive, put it down. Lift and dive. Other side, no heel lift, just dive and up. Add that heel lift now on the second time. Dive and over and lift that heel.
just straight. Give a nice little stretch in your hip flexors. Engage that core. I'm pulling up and it's stretching out that side. Now switch over to the other side. Stretch on that. All right, let's get to the floor. You can have a mat or not. Either way works. This is one of my favorite ab series from my professor in undergrad, Ki Chakus. Shout out to you. So they're called X abs. Laying them on down. We've done these once on this channel. So if this is something you've done perfectly, it's not welcome. So it's called an X because my body is falling out of it. Now let's just take your right hand to meet the left. And I'm crunching up. I'm using my left hand to help me up. And then I'm slowly holding myself all the way back on down. Opposite side. So left hand to the top. And then you're rolling back down. Alternating from one side to the next. Alrighty, let's make our way back up to a standing position. 
position. I'm gonna remove my mat because I just want to feel the floor. All right. So I want you to find yourself in a wide second position, finding that squat position, and you're going to the tiny little pulses. Pulse, pulse. Put your hands wherever you need them to be. Pulse, pulse. I call these around the world lunge pulses. Go for three, two, one, turn to the right. Down and down. 90, 90. My back heel is lifted off. My front foot is nice and stationary. Take it back to the front and front. Yes, stay nice and low. Squeeze, squeeze. You're getting ready to go to that other side. In four, three, two, other side. Pulse it out. Again, my back heel is lifted. My front foot is nice and flat into that floor. Keep going. Down, down, down. We're going back to the front for four. You have four, three, two, right side. Four, three, two, front. Four, three, two, left. Four, three, we got two to the front. You have one. Two, switch, one, two, switch, one, two, switch, one, two, again. One, two, switch, one, two, switch, one. Guess what? Single time. Here we go. Down, switch. See if you can stay in this plie the whole time. Hello, legs. For four, three, last two, one. Come on in. Shake out those legs. Whew, let's do a little bit of a quad stretch. Take that right leg back behind you. Make sure those knees are connected. Switch those legs. And you just did it, everybody. Your dance, power, cardio bar type movements. If this felt foreign in the body, it's fine. This video is up on YouTube. You can hit replay as many times as you want. And if you have a certain question about it, let me know in those comments. Write to me, I want to know your thoughts. And again, it's okay if you don't call yourself a dancer. As long as you're moving your body, that's all we want for these workouts. So thanks for joining. I am Allison. This is All Is One Fitness. I will see you tomorrow.